hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel thank you so much for tuning in i'm glad you're here today with me to spend some time today i have some special recipe for you guys uh, it's called uh, whitening fish i don't know if it's whitening or whitening anyway the good news is that i'm gonna be showing you how to make this delicious fish when you go to any party this fish is most of the time, not always, but most of the time present in the party. And if you're wondering how they make this fish, stay tuned. I got your back. I will show you how to make this fish step to step. And believe me, you will enjoy this fish. Okay, guys, let me take you over to the fish and I will introduce the fish to you. And then we can go from there. Stay tuned. So I'm going to be showing you how I make this fish. So this is how the fish look like inside. So I believe maybe you know this fish, maybe you haven't. So, but uh, you can always make this recipe with any kind of fish that you have. It doesn't have to be exactly this fish that I'm using right now. So I got this fish from, um, I think, an Asian store yeah so that's where i got this fish so if you know wherever you can get it as well you can guys go ahead and grab some so the fish i'm gonna take you guys back to the kitchen and uh, i will show you how i make this delicious party style um fish okay welcome back so right now i have all my fish so i already cut the fish up I cut them up to the size that I want and uh, I wash them so they are all ready to start cooking and I'll be using some bell pepper I have the green one the orange one and the red one so uh, I'll show you how I'm gonna use all these ingredients and I have my onions here so I already cut up the onions so I have some tomato paste so I'll be using, uh, this is just one big scoop of tomato paste. I'm not going to be using too much. So I might not even use all of this, but I will see how that goes. So, and this is, uh, what I have here is fresh tomatoes and the onions that are already um, grind and cooked, dried. So if you want to see the recipe, like how I made this, so just click on the check on the description button below you will see the recipe to this um, tomatoes that I have here it for that one and this is the two medium size peanut pepper that I'm gonna be using for this so you can add more or you can reduce depending on how much pepper you want on your stuff so I'm still gonna wash this so it has not been washed yet so don't worry about me putting it on the decks there I'm gonna wash them so I have the rest of my um, seasoning here. So I have the curry powder. So I'm gonna bring this closer. So this is my curry powder right here. And this is um, oregano. It's my oregano that I have in there. So this is Italian seasoning. I have Italian seasoning. And this is, I uh, added a little bit of paprika. So a little bit of paprika. And this is nutmeg. And this is adobo seasoning powder. The adobo seasoning powder that I use. So this is just um, this, what is it called? Um, like the non, the non powder. So if you want me to show you um, the chicken flavored one, like this. So you can always, you know, substitute your seasoning to whatever seasoning that suits you, right? You know, whatever seasoning that you think um, you like more on your food, just feel free to use that. You don't have to use like exactly the seasoning that I'm using. So go with your taste, you know. So I'm going to be using one stock cube. And this is a uh, garlic powder, grind garlic powder, and this one is a uh, parsley. So this is parsley. I'm not adding too much of all this seasoning. So 
you can add as much as you want or you can reduce them if you want so it's up to you this is your kitchen so you do whatever you want in it and i'm gonna be using um this uh, squeezed mild ginger so i'm going about this much so this much should be enough so some of added my cooking oil so go ahead and out um use any of your favorite cooking oils that you like and uh in a bowl if you have been watching my um my cooking tutorial you probably know that i use a lot of uh, disposable plates i just use them and throw them in the trash because i want to save myself some time of washing a lot of dishes so what I'm going to do is just to add, um, before I start frying this fish, I'm going to add it just a little bit of uh, salt. Add the salt and just toss them around. And then wait for the oil to heat up. And remember, so you just want to like keep it on the medium, not too high, not too low. So right now I think my oil is ready. I think um, check my heat whenever I'm cooking so I'll go ahead and fry all this fish and I'll come back to show you what is the next step so one thing uh, one thing I just want to mention once you start frying this fish do not start turning them right away because they will start breaking up so once you put them all in the oil just let it cook for at least five minutes on one side three to five minutes for on one side before you flip them to the other side and also let them cook for another four to five minutes so i just want to let you know that so you don't start flipping your your fish like right away after right after you put them in the oil because it's going to start breaking up go ahead and turn the stove on and put some vegetable oil Want too much. Oh, that fish is smelling so good. Oh my goodness. So, I have some vegetable oil, so I'm gonna let that to heat up too. And after it's done heating up, I'll pour in my onions. Um, oil is probably ready now, so I don't want it to get so hot and have the onions burn right away. Because when your, on when your oil is too hot, when you put the onions in the hot oil, it gets burnt right away. So I'll go ahead and add one scoop of my fresh. I think it's time for me to turn this fish. It has been cooking for about five minutes now. So I'm gonna go ahead and flip all the fish and I'll be back. So I'm done flipping all the fish and all those crazy splashing of the oil has stopped a little bit. So, uh, so I will come back when I'm done frying all the fish. Like I said, I'm going to switch to my deep fryer because I don't want the oil to keep uh, splashing on me. Um, I'm not ready to take that anymore. So you have to be very careful whenever you're frying uh, whatever kind of th stuff you're frying with regular way or deep frying or baking you just have to be careful so you don't get yourself burnt okay welcome back to the uh, the sauce that i'm gonna be using for this fish so i add some of my already prepared uh, tomatoes this is like fresh tomatoes and onions alone nothing else I'm just gonna add a little bit of I think I'm, I'm not gonna use all of this just a little bit just for the color sake you know I just want it to have a very um, rich color otherwise I probably I don't need it but I want I'll go ahead I already chopped off my scotch bonnet pepper there 
So I'll go ahead and put in every single spice that I already introduced to you guys before. Put everything there and crush this. So that is the fun part, like I don't need to wash anything. And the stock cube is just gonna melt off by itself, so don't worry. Just a little bit of water and then just let it cook for two minutes and this is done two to five minutes at maximum and now we come back for this uh, back to the stew to the sauce so I don't want to use all of this I'm gonna take out few in case I don't need it because if I need them then I have to put more but right now I don't want the to have too much sauce in the fish so remove some and remove all those oil because I really don't need the oil. So right now, what I will do is to put my mixed veggies, mix them up and have them just steam. And then pour this fish in there. I don't need this spoon anymore. I'm gonna use my spatula. I gradually toss the fish in the sauce. Just I'm gonna keep tossing them until I get everything combined the way I want it. Okay, I'm done um, tossing this. You can see it's all combined right now. Look at that goodness. Oh my gosh. This is looking so good. So, once you're done tossing all the meat and uh, fish and the sauce together, just let it sit in a low heat or uh, close to, uh, medium to low and then cover this up and let it steam so that every single um, seasoning will go into the fish. So just let it steam for like two minutes. You don't have to over steam this, just for two to three minutes. And all the spice, all the seasoning, all the goodness will go right into that. So just, I forgot to mention, I added a little bit more of the sauce that I took out because when I was toasting it, so the sauce wasn't enough, so I added more. So. Feel free to add as many sauce that you want in that fish or as little as you want. So make this your dish, you know. So my job is just to tell you how I make mine. So you can do exactly the way I make it or you can do something differently. Just make this dish yours. So this has been cooking for a minute or two. And it's ready. Look at how good that is looking. We are all done here. Go ahead and shut your stove off. So this is done. Okay guys, this is the finished result of this delicious party style whitening fish. So when I go to any party and this fish is not present, I'll probably be sweating for them in my mind. So this is the most part you don't want to miss when you go to a party. See how delicious that look? Mmm. Mmm. Oh my goodness. This tastes so good. Wow. You have to try this out. Remember, as if you noticed, 
I didn't add like too much salt to this my recipe. So because all those seasoning, they kind of have salt somehow, and the little salt that I I kind of sprayed on the fish before I start frying it, that is the only salt I use, and this turned out so good. And I'm not really that of a a, a big fan of salt, so this was really good. Please try this out. You wouldn't regret it. This is the best thing ever. I don't want to miss it. Mm. Okay, guys. Thanks for watching. Sorry, I got food in my mouth. Thanks for watching. See you next time. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe. And click on the notification button. So you know when next I post any video. And uh, if you have any comment, any suggestion, any recipe you would like me to try, feel free to leave that on the comment section below. Subscribe and thumbs up. Bye bye.